going on guys? So, I've been working out here for quite a few hours on this thing. It's tedious. This is a very complicated build. Everything fits together pretty tight. Everything's snug, so. Um, out at USTE, I was bashing this thing around. Took the dirt track a few laps and uh, the steering is attached to the 3D printed grill. And yeah, ended up cracking the grill. Still worked, but it was just, the grill was moving with the steering, so. Had to pull all that off and add some sheet metal reinforcements. Um, I reinforced one side more than the other because it was already broken. Um, but I, yeah, I just made some sheet metal and stuck it in there and screwed it down, attached it to as many points as I could. Could have done a few more, but I think it'll be fine now. It's, it's much stronger. It's in there a lot more solidly. I'm going to throw a battery here in a minute in it and we'll see how much wiggle we get. With this kind of steering setup, we usually get a little movement side to side here from the radius arms. It's not a big deal. Also, while I was there, I had the shocks part. I added another spring to the shocks. It was really, really soft. It's pretty firm now, but matches the back a little bit better. So hopefully that uh, works out for us in the end. And yeah, so I was getting ready to throw a zip tie on the uh, servo wire. I had it zip tied over here as a hole in the frame. The zip tie, when I went to cut it, it just all but fell off. It had been rubbed along the ground so much from driving. And, uh, yeah, I decided to make a little sheet metal thing. Worked out perfect. Bolts up to the oil pan of the engine. Keeps it nice and tucked out of the way. And it has a little room to move, so in case it does get snagged, it won't hopefully rip right out. Uh, just classing it up a little bit. So, I'm going to throw a battery in here. That's one thing this rig still needs is a... Uh, permanent battery mount. You can see I've just got a strap here around the transmission cross member. But uh, I'm not going to do that today. I'm about worn out. <laughs> it's been a long day. But yeah, we'll test it out here real quick. Another thing I had to take care of was the uh, driver fender was cracked. It got stressed. I guess it got messed up in the, in the car driving out there to Florida. And it got a pretty good crack up there and it was flopping a little bit. So I just made some, I used this really thin copper tin I got at Home Depot. It's not actually copper, it's just copper plated-ish, not even probably real copper plating, but whatever, really thin gauge sheet metal. I just made some little pieces and, yeah, used some scale hardware to bolt them down. And, uh, you know, it works. Right rod will just keep it ratty. You can still see the crack at the bottom, it's hard to show up on camera, but it's kind of cool. You can see that it's broken, see that it's fixed, not just completely repaired and hidden. <laughs> Alright guys, got everything hooked up. I think I may have made the front a little too stiff now. I don't know. It was way soft before, but it just worked. Let's we'll see how this works out in the real world. <laughs> but um, so yeah, setting level and everything looks good. My headlights is crooked. Everything had kind of worked its way loose a little bit. The headlights and stuff were loose before. I guess uh, actually getting out and running this thing. But um, also swapped on these tires. Now I got these are the uh, Pitbull Timco Alien Compound Military Tire. And I saw these at USTE. They had some samples out. So I went ahead and picked up a pair for this because they just look right for this that thing. Vintage World War II era look. And I uh, thought that kind of went with the tank tracks pretty well. Um, they are a super, super soft tire though. That Alien Compound is no joke. And I didn't have beadlock rings on there because I was using the uh, super wide semi tires from RC4 Drive. Most of the semi tires are very hard. And uh, they just stayed on the 1.9 wheel because those were 1.7s. And it all worked out just fine. But these being super soft, I had to tear them apart and put the beadlock rings in. And I hate doing beadlocks. They're so, they're so soft. I put rubber bands around them and, and finally got it to to the lips to stay in the beadlock so just took a while that that ate up a lot of time it's not my favorite thing in the world to do but it had to be done but um yeah anyways i'm gonna wrap this one up i appreciate you guys watching and uh yeah keep scale i'll see y'all in the next video